Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Cuts to Cuz Hump Day Report here on Wednesday. Uh, I done messed around here, it's near about 10 o'clock. I've had a lot going on this morning and we had uh, 32 to 31 degree weather last night. So we got up this morning and had a big frost, but also uh, had some bowls of water outside for the cats and went out there and they were froze like a brick. And uh, just got plum cold, but uh, the heater come on in the house, and whew, when the heat comes on in the house, my wife enjoys it, but I get hot. She wore I'm wearing, I had to go put on a t-shirt. Anyway, uh, I got a little list over here. People I want to say hello to and thank you for coming by and uh, helping with our channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know I'm leaving somebody out, but uh, also you hear background music. I created a loop. I'm using my old tube amp here. I got my pedal board down there, and the only pedal that's working is the looper. Anyway, uh, Graham in the UK, I want to say a shout out to you. Thanks for stopping by. And I know y'all cold over there, so wrap up. Alright, I think Charlie C. I'm not sure if you were in the UK or not, but I believe you were, but you requested a lesson on Ghost Riders. Now, I can't do the exact Ghost Riders, because I'm going to do what I can today on the lesson, but the thing is, every time I do a song by a group or a singing artist, they put a copyright claim on it, and they don't Got where they don't really take the video down, they just take the music off. Well, it's like it's like a silent movie then. So I take them down. Boom. I've took several down already. Anyway, country boy Charlie out there in the uh I'm gonna call it the north side of Texas, close to Oklahoma. Uh hope you doing well. Uh just saying hey to people that Actually, I have a lot of conversation with a fella up there uh, around Atlanta, Georgia area, Rick Burrito or Beto, Rick Beto. Hey, Rick. Uh, he's got a channel and he does a lot of music. And <laughs> if you watch his channel, you hear him talking about all this copyright stuff, too. And uh, then we got Rick Beto's friend all the way out in California that's a great musician that plays on a lot of records today. His name's Tim Pierce. Hey, Tim. Good to see you. And then I got Jim over there in the UK. Got a lot of people in the UK, so hello everybody in the UK. I'm not really sure where the UK is. Maybe y'all can write and tell me. I know England's in the UK, but the United Kingdom's what it's called. And I just wonder if that covers Switzerland and France and Greece and all that. I don't know. <coughs> Lord, I'm stove up. Ow! And up there around Baltimore area. Woo! Y'all got some snow the other day, buddy. I seen that on TV. Alright, sir. Uh, Daryl. D A R E L. Daryl. Daryl. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri, ever. Area. That sounds like a really cold place, too. I actually been out there before to St. Louis in the summer. Boy, y'all got some of the roughest roads coming in on that interstate and that bridge when you can look down there and see that big old arch. That road, I was in my old semi, International, and I thought it was going to bounce me out the window. I had to tighten my seatbelt up. Ah. And then you got Paul R. I want to thank you, Paul. I talk to you a lot. Jerry, uh, says it's 13 degrees up in Wisconsin. Woo! I don't want to go to Wisconsin in the winter, that's for sure. And uh, all and uh, Randall, yep, uh, you'll learn to play better in open E. I know you've been experimenting with C6 according to my notes here, but open E is what I enjoy. And this lesson today is going to be in the key open E. And uh, David, Dave, Plays guitar. Hey, I always watch you. Your music's great. Keep it up, brother. I enjoy it. You never want to say hello to Mike up in Ohio. And uh, I used to work for a company that our headquarters was in Ohio. All right, now then, 
Uh, no idea what I done with my pick, but it don't matter. Anyway, well it does, huh? Huh. I, <laughs> I found my pick. I'm gonna cut this up now. It's played in A minor, by the way, or the first note is. But I'll go over with you just me. song to play on the lap still. However, I did sit down and go over and the slide ins and all, you know. slow it down but you know uh, and you can throw in a lot of little equation because that gives you a non-minor. So what you want to hit is any of the strings, one or one, two, skip number three. zoom in so we'll invite you to come on in and let's get on with the lesson all right welcome back to the zoom in on the lesson like i said it's, a, it's not not exactly the song it's a like the song because they can't do the exact song because they're taking it away from us so Anyway, it is played in A minor, or that's what we play it in, and I, I think everybody plays it in A minor. And it's a good song. My favorite version of it was The Highway Men with Johnny Cash and <coughs> Chris Chris Robinson, I think Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings and them playing in it. Uh, they got one of the best versions of it out there. But anyway, uh, and it's got a little beat like... But to make the song sound good, 
Really, you need a bass guitar. You definitely need a drum. Cause you gotta, it sounds good, that boom a chicka boom a chicka boom We gonna do it right here, and y'all can find a record to play along with it. So, the first thing I hear them three strings right there. Did you hear that? That's going from a E open on the big string, G, and then A. Skip over to the fourth string, I think. One, two, three, four, yep. Then I hit a G again and go down to the A. So here we go. Then a B. C. See how I worked it back and forth? goes to a F and I like to use that F down here instead of because it's got that bass And that's actually going back to a B, I believe it was. Let's see. No, that's an A. Go to the G.
start on the third fret. I well, I start on slide in, but slide back third to that bit. seven to eight. And the 12th fret, and 10th is a D, and 12 is E. Then you go into your F. Seventeenth fret and working it on that fourth E string right there. And then cross over to your top three. Back to the F, then the G, then to the A. all the other instruments because there's a lot going on in that song the bass man he's sitting there going song because it's got a lot of chords and a lot of notes going on and uh, it's pretty much not made for lap steel. It's a guitar picking tune. I've only seen two people on the internet do it on lap steel. And I forget his name. There's one guy that, boy, he's really good at it, you know, and, and he don't have it tuned in the tuning I'm using, which is open E. I'll throw it right across here just so y'all can see it right across there okay anyway hope each and every one of y'all has a great week out there and uh we are gonna get back to playing with the pedal board and some effect pedals and talk about what they good for and what they do and what some of them don't do and what some of them chokes you down doing and we'll get back to that lesson soon i promise uh, as far as uh, the tune that Van Halen played on the Tornado movie, I've been listening to that a few times, and be honest with you, I ain't figured that one out. Yeah, they a whole bunch going on in that one, that's for sure. But anyway, y'all have a great week out there. Speedy, you stay warm up there in the uh, high country. 
We'll see y'all later.